Vanessa from the Healthy Lifestyles team and Roxy. She's got quite familiar with all the videoing I've been doing over the last few weeks and uh, seems to be crashing into a few of them. So I thought I'd just introduce you in case she decides to uh, come and join us a bit later on. So we're quite a few weeks now into creating these online videos and trying to encourage you to stay active at home. And uh, yeah, the hair has, well, it's going a bit wild really. Um, more of that about what's going to happen to the hair at the end of the video. But today, what are we going to do today? I thought we'd do some chair-based exercise. Um, there's a popular misconception that uh, chair-based exercise isn't very energetic or isn't difficult or challenging enough. So let's see if we can actually dispel that and uh, give you a little workout using a chair. As always, please do just check in with yourself. Are you feeling okay today? Are you feeling okay today? She's a little bit hot and bothered. Um, do make sure you've got some water to hand and that you're wearing comfortable clothing with um, space around you. I'm going to just head back to the chair now and uh, my apologies in advance if Roxy decides to stay in the video. Uh, but once I've started these things, I have to restart the whole thing again if it all goes horribly wrong. So we're just going to go for it. Okay, so sitting nice and comfortably on your chair and I would encourage you please to sit towards the edge of your chair. So when we say towards the edge, we want to make sure that we've got a nice straight back. Right, it's now time for you to go to bed. Go on, bed. That's it. Go to bed. Good girl. Bed. Okay. So we're looking for a posture where you have a really nice straight back. So when you're sitting, as I will do forward, you can get your hands behind your back. So you're not resting against the backrest. You've got your bottom towards the front edge of the chair. You're nicely positioned, nice and comfortable, and your feet are flat on the floor. In fact, I'm just gonna take the chair back slightly so that you may be able to see my feet. Perfect, okay. Same as always, your knees should be in line with your ankles and your toes are pointing forward. Pull your belly button back to your spine and roll and relax your shoulders down. So lift your chest up, pull the belly button back. From here now, we're just going to just relax into it. So take a nice deep breath in and out. Repeat. One more time. So we're just dropping into the space now. So we're gonna focus on our breathing and on what we're doing. So we'll start by dropping the chin down to the chest, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, slightly retracting the shoulder blades, lifting the chest. And gently look up towards the ceiling, but don't overdo it, so no hyperextension of the neck. And down. And up. Back to centre, drop the ear to the shoulder. So nice lengthening through the side of the neck. And up and to the other side. up, ear to shoulder again, this time release the arm down the side of the chair, so more lengthening in the side of the neck now, and up 
onto the other side. So releasing that arm really does make a difference. And up. Now we're just going to massage the face. So I'm going to just take my glasses off for a second. So just tapping the face all around the cheekbones, into the jaw, up into the forehead. Okay, now don't give yourself a black eye or do an injury, but just a nice sort of vigorous tap just to stimulate the facial muscles. Okay, fingers just rub down the nasal joints passage. Give the ears a good pull. So if I can recall this, you can do this sitting at home in your own lounge. Okay, wiggle your jaw. So give it a good wiggle. So good facial aerobics, okay, so waking up your face. Hands together, using your thumbs, you're going to pop your hands behind your head and just massage into your neck. So you could activate through the front body here by pushing the elbows back and really use those thumbs to get into your neck. Okay, and then hands onto your shoulder. Give everything a good squeeze. Again, using the fingers to massage into those muscles. It's quite often nice to use a tennis ball as well. You can roll a tennis ball. Uh, so give everything a squeeze coming down into the biceps. Give it all a good squeeze down into the forearm and then on the other side. So we're just trying to stimulate blood flow at the moment. So really massaging into those muscles. You might feel a little bit of tension. If you've been sedentary for quite some while, squeezing all those muscles. Give it a good shake off, so really shake your fingers. Okay, again, we're trying to wake everything up. Check your posture. Have you gone into that slumpy position? Okay, remember, you shouldn't be here, we should be up. Pull the belly button in, flatten through the back. Okay, nice straight back, space between you and the back of the chair. Into the fingers then, let's see if we can do some opposition. So thumb to forefinger and all the way through, really extending those fingers. And then we'll go into a little bit of rotation through the wrists. And then we'll clasp the fingers together and then turn them out and push them away. All the time focusing on breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So when you're breathing in, imagine the air travelling down into the body. When you breathe out, it travels out of the body and up. And again. So down and out. Okay, we can turn the fingers and stretch through the forearms. And to the other side. So again, focus on that breathing in and out. Wonderful, release the arms down the side. So into the shoulders now, uh, we'll start by just retracting the shoulder blades back. So really activating the back and then forward. So squeeze them in and back to retract. And then protract them forward. Squeeze one more time. Okay, 
okay come to rest at the side and shoulder shrugs up to the ears and down now remember your range of movement may possibly be different uh, you might have an injury so it may be that you can only do one shoulder or you may be able to do one higher than the other so whatever works for you you just adapt the exercise to what is comfortable okay then we take it into a higher move so a rotation through the shoulder joint now at this point and I've said it before you need to maintain an upright torso so no leaning over because you think you can get more range of movement because actually you're not getting any more range of movement you're just leaning to one side so keep your torso in one place and work with the range of movement you've got and rest assured if you work it enough you will improve your range of movement and go in the opposite direction in 2009 I broke my elbow in several places but I promised myself I would get back to doing press-ups and I did. It took six months, probably a year actually, to get the full range of movement that I was ever going to achieve back. But you can do it if you set your mind to it. So let's send both arms up and spice it up. One forward, one back. Forward and back. Other way. all the time focusing on your breath and relax okay just feel that out allow the shoulders to rest pull the shoulder blades back slightly lift the chest send the arms out spread through your fingertips really tensing those muscles in your arms squeeze the arms across your body give yourself a good hug so use your fingertips to ease the arms around your body and if you're happy to do so, lift your head up. Okay, release, fling the arms open, fold them back the other way. We're just going to do a little bit on the side body now so we could just creep the arm down the side of the chair at this point keep the chest up so don't allow the back to cave in or cave over chest up lean to the side keep your chin up your chest up and to the other side and again if you can hear some sighing in the background, that is what Roxy thinks of my videos. Last time. So either carry on with that or take the arms up, elbows shining up towards the ceiling, lift up, don't take your shoulders, shoulders stay where they are and we do the same again. At this point, don't topple off your chair. So make sure you're nicely grounded on your chair, pushing your bottom into the chair, pushing your feet into the floor before you go over to one side. Okay, lift the chest, press down through your feet, press down through your bottom and over you go. And up, over one more time. And again. And up. It's 
So here you could hold on to the opposite wrist, take it to the side, and then when you're over to your um, point where you're going to stop, just lift the arm up and over. Now what happens here is the stretch comes higher up the side body. So you get more of a stretch, which feels really nice. Lift up. In my classes, I usually say, smell your armpit. And that usually gives everybody a little laugh. And then up, swap wrists over to the other side. And chest up. Okay, and relax. Bring the arms down. So I'm going to sit sideways, a little bit further onto the edge of the chair. And we're going to do a little bit of extension and flexion of the spine. So I'm going to tuck the head in, curving the spine. And then the opposite. So this would be cat cow if we were sitting, if we were on the floor. That's it. One more time. So we're just really trying to manipulate and encourage blood flow throughout the spine. So we could do a little bit more fluid movement. I'm going to come and sit back in position. So just play with it a little bit. Pushing the chest forward. and relax. If you're happy to take your head below your heart, I'm just going to open the legs a little bit and then just curling down through the spine, I'm going to allow my body weight to come down towards the floor. So this creates a really nice lower back stretch. Press down through your feet, really feel connected to the floor. Now I could actually hang out here for a while because this feels really nice but you could reach forward, reach back, and come back to center. And then gently uncurl. Bring the legs back in. Bit of spinal rotation, opposite hand to opposite knee as the torso is then going to twist to the side. So opposite hand to opposite knee and twist, lift the chest. And to the other side. And back. You can grow this move a little bit more you could take the arm out behind you maybe use the chair to encourage a bit more movement in the spine and to the other side so again use the chair chin up chest up press down through your feet feel that connection to the floor Okay, so just send the arms out, a little bit more shoulder work, so we're just going to rotate, palms face forward, palms face back. And relax. Coming down the body to the hips now. So we could just circle the floor with our foot. 
Now we're staying on the chair, but obviously you can get out of the chair and you could hold on to the chair to do these moves. I'm going to come a little bit further towards the edge. Rotate in the other direction. A bit clicky, crunchy in the hip joint. And then you could grow that by opening and then back. more time and down other side keep it low to begin with so really extending the leg out polishing the floor in both directions oh really clicky crunch on this side and then lift up and out up nice and straight do hold on to the chair if you want to if you don't need to you could pop your hands across your chest okay lovely a bit of strengthening for the legs we could extend one leg out and just pulse it up and down so I'll go sideways I think for this so just pulsing the leg up and down I'm extending the toe in towards my body, keeping my back nice and straight. I could pop my hands across my chest and I'm just pulsing, pulsing, pulsing. So just keep going. You'll start to feel that build up of lactic acid in the quad on that moving leg. You'll be thinking, stop, stop, stop. Keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse for four, three, two, one, and release. So we go to the other side, lift the leg and pulse. Press down through the foot that's on the floor. Sit up nice and straight, relax the shoulders, lift the chest, lift the chin off the chest. Look forward in front of you. Pulse. Keep it going. Quads are screaming. For four, three, two, one. And relax. Oh, give the quads a little bit. I would slap them really hard, but that comes out very loud on the, on the video. So, just a tiny bit of a heart raiser. And we can still do this by sitting in the chair. We're just going to really march vigorously on the spot. Okay, now again, this is going to be a bit noisy on the video. So I shall try not to tap the floor too quickly, or too loudly. I wonder if I did it on that. It would be less. Oh, no. Okay, so basically sitting up straight and just tapping your feet, lifting your legs off the floor. You don't need to be tapping on anything, but just on your floor. And keep it going. So the aim is, is just to raise the heart rate. Now it might be that you can't do it so far, so you could just march your legs. And the pure effort of lifting the leg up maybe enough to raise your heart rate slightly. You might be able to do a few punches at the same time. A little bit of coordination going on there. You might be able to go back to that last march and just keep the arms up to the side or keep them up above your head. A little bit harder for the blood to get around the body when the arms are above the heart. won't carry on with the tapping because it's a bit noisy but it just gives you an idea that you can still raise your heart rate even when you're seated in your chair my heart rate's slightly elevated now so knees 
If you're able to, you might want to sit slightly further back on the chair. You could just give your leg a little bit of a cuddle. Again, if you're able to, pop your leg on top of the other leg and squeeze it into your body. This will give a nice stretch from the hamstrings into the glutes. You might also put in a counter twist there as well. So looking over the opposite shoulder to the leg that you're resting on top of. And release. Press down to lift up, squeeze. At this point, try not to use your arms to cling on for dear, dear life. Use the strength in your leg to actually hold your leg up, okay, not your arms. The arms are just there to allow you to support your leg. They shouldn't be going white because you're clinging on to it for dear life. And again, lift up and over, squeeze. Now you do need that little bit of pressure there because that will give the stretch into the glutes and counter twist. So just down to the ankles, often a place that is ignored. So we're just going to do a few heel digs. That's it. Bit of rotation. Really stretch out your foot. Really work the ankle. I probably prefer to do that without any trainers on. Other side. That's it again. Now, if I had no shoes on, you'd be able to see this, but practice pushing your feet into the floor. Just the big toe in your trainer should be pressing down onto the floor and then trying to get the other toes to come down individually. Okay, so it's really challenging. You don't know whether I'm doing it or not because you can't see my feet, but that's the kind of impression that we're trying to get. Okay, so it's much better to do that without your trainers on. So that concludes our little exercise session for today, seated on the chair. I hope that you've enjoyed that. I'm very thankful that Roxy has stayed on the sofa snoring. Um, rather than interrupting us. You can probably hear her. And just to share with you, um, this week I should have had my hair cut. Now for those of you that know me, my hair is quite a precious part of my personality. But like everybody, it's difficult to do these things at the moment. So I've decided to turn a negative situation, if I could get a little bit fed off about my hair, into a positive and I'm going to be having my hair, I will say cropped, maybe not shaved, but we will see, uh, for charity on my birthday, which is at the end of June, um, to raise some money for um, family members who've had triplets and who spent quite a, a, a great deal of time in hospital in Germany. And half the money I will raise will go towards that charity and half the money I raise will go towards the Trevor Mann baby unit in Brighton, um, because both my son and also my grandson um, have both had very special care from the nurses and doctors at the county hospital. So in a few weeks time, we will not have this, we will have a new look, and let's hope that it grows back in time for me to meet the big 5-0 next year. So thank you. And I will see you again next time.